when she leaves, I hate her. Because I don't know where anything is or where anything goes. The dishes pile up in the sink and i got to hunt for them to find out where they even are. The mail piles up. The laundry piles up. <coughs> Sometimes I try and make the bed like she makes the bed, but there are lumps everywhere. But you know what I found? I've learned that I can deal with the lumps in the bedspread as long as I know she's coming home. I can deal with the lumps in the bedspread as long as I know she's coming back. And it's exactly the same with being a Christian. You got some lumps right now? You're not sure where things go either in your life right now? We're all having a struggle. I mean, let's admit it, everybody's dealing with something. Some of us are hanging on to the fingernails. But we can deal with it and hang on because we know that He's coming back. And it's going to be okay. And sometimes we just need somebody to tell us that, that it's going to be okay. And when He does, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord. And then sixth and finally, very quickly, I want you to see when you don't feel thankful, remember grace is free, truth is known, salvation is yours, provision is given, Jesus is coming, and finally remember that God is faithful. Verse 9. God who has called you into fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, is faithful. You take it from someone whose life is not always faithful, folks. God is faithful. Not once has He ever failed to be there, nor will He ever in the future. Whenever I throw my pity parties, I have a practice of looking around, finding and realizing there are people who are a whole lot worse off than me. I get nostalgic sometimes at holidays. I remember Thanksgiving. 1986. Mom and dad had been involved in that accident in Florida. And my dad had been killed and mom we were finally able to get her home by an air ambulance to Seymour Hospital. And she was still in really bad shape. And so she couldn't leave the hospital at Thanksgiving time. So we decided to take Thanksgiving to her. I remember coming down from Chicago with Love and the boys and <coughs> Kathy fixing the food and bringing it up with her family. And they gave us a special little room there. And she had all these broken bones and a crushed pelvis and this special bed that she had to lay on. And they rolled that bed into a little room. They cleared out a room and gave it to us. And we went into that room and we got together and we had Thanksgiving. And I'll never forget it. With all of her broken bones and all of her pain, as I stood beside the bed, she grabbed my hand and she said, Bill, God is so good. God is so good. Don't you ever forget that. God is so good. And there she lay with all of her injuries and having just lost her husband of 43 years. And I went back to Chicago with a whole different perspective on my problems. A couple of weeks later, we were Christmas shopping at Woodfield Mall in Chicago. At that time, it was the largest mall in the world. And we lived five minutes from there. And Lo and I and the boys were Christmas shopping one evening, walking through, and we saw something that we had never seen before. There was a little boy on crutches. And he was walking through the main part of the mall. And as we looked closer, we noticed that this little boy only had one leg. But he had taken evergreen boughs, the kind you would trim off of a Christmas tree. 
and he attached them to his crutches. And then he took a string of lights and somehow hooked them up to a battery, little white lights, and he put them in amongst the evergreen boughs. And here he was, crutching his way across the mall. Let me tell you something, folks. Evergreen boughs and Christmas lights on the crutches of a little one-legged boy, that's faithfulness. And no matter what you're facing right now, I don't care what it is, God says to give thanks for it in the midst of it. And when you do, and I do, that's when the blessing Let me finish with this.